What's going on everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is a double upload day, aren't you lucky? I'm here to, to, just to talk about uh, some things that have been going on in wrestling. So for a while I've wanted to make a video about The Undertaker and what he was saying in the Joe Rogan podcast. Just, you know, kind of give my take on it. But uh, that was meant to come out today. I know it's been a while, but I've just been really busy. But last night it was announced that the WWE Network have... Or WWE have sold... The WWE Network within the United States to Peacock, which is NBC Universal streaming service, uh, which is the parent company of the USA Network, which is weird. I mean, it's good for them. I imagine they're going to make a lot of money. The service is half the price of the WWE Network, and it has its entire catalog, plus stuff like The Office. Um, okay, what else? The Office. I think Early Brooklyn Nine Nine was on NBC, maybe. Uh, Parks and Recreation, Community, all that stuff aired on that network back in the day. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a better price if you can get all that and WWE, that's fair. But realistically, where does this leave us, the international audience? I know all companies right now, especially with COVID, are trying to get in on the streaming game, get their own specific streaming service, whereas before, companies like Prime, Hulu, Netflix, all those places, they bought a wealth of content from outside places, all these studios and companies are realising we have all this content under our own umbrella and we're just going to put it out there. I mean, I think Disney is fair enough doing it like that. Um, you know, the, the Disney Plus is fantastic. But now, these companies that own a bunch of TV stations are, you know, a lot of times putting movies out on them and effectively leaving the international audience in the dust. You look at HBO Max. HBO Max isn't available in the UK because HBO has a deal with Sky. Sky Atlantic shows, I'm pretty sure exclusively HBO content. Sky Atlantic is where all the HBO shows go for the UK. So if you want to watch Game of Thrones, if you want to watch The Wire, if you want to watch Sopranos, it's on Sky Atlantic. It was launched off the back of HBO television. <coughs> but the company that owns HBO also owns Warner Brothers and they are, you know, putting out all the DC movies, uh, they're launching like Wonder Woman on there, they're launching uh, the, the, the Snyder Cut of Justice League on there for no extra cost. But worldwide, you have to rent it for like £25, you get it for a few weeks, then it's gone, then you wait for the actual release, and then you can buy it for like a tenner or whatever. And all these streaming services, US based streaming services, are well, one, they're diluting the market, and two, they're leaving the international audience out of pocket, realistically. And I know this is about WWE and this is about the WWE Network, and we will still have WWE Network as we know it. But for how long, you know? Well, BT, well, you know, buy the, the UK exclusive rights, and we need to buy a BT package to only see WWE. Well, you know, stuff. it's, it's worrying, I think. Looking at it, though, it's good. You know, WWE made a billion dollars there and then for the next five years for uh, Peacock and Peacock Plus to host uh, their content. And I think that's amazing. It opens up to a much wider audience, which is a big thing that, you know, wrestling's missing. I think a lot of people criticise that AEW for bringing Snoop Dogg in, but realistically, it got AEW in front of a lot more eyes. You're like, oh, Snoop Dogg's going to be on the TV. You've got Shaquille O'Neal coming in. People are going to tune in and watch Shaquille O'Neal. If you have this Peacock Plus subscription over in America and you want to watch The Office, and you're like, I've watched about too much The Office today. I've watched like nine hours of The Office. Because we it happens to the best of us. And then you're like, wait a minute. Stone, Stone Cold Steve Austin, remember him? From when wrestling was cool. And then you go in and you find Kofi Kingston. You find The Miz. I don't know why I went to The Miz second. But you find all these new up-and-coming talents on Peacock Plus. And it's fantastic. And it definitely gets wrestling in front of a much wider audience. But like, what does this mean for international audiences? Because what if WWE then starts selling off the rights to the network? which was nowhere near as successful as they thought it was going to be. Start selling these off to other companies and making us pay for a service we might not entirely want. If it was to, you know, if something like a Netflix or a or whatever was to buy it, but they're on sports channels here. They're not on, you know, Channel 4 or Channel 5 or the BBC or whatever. They're on sports channels. So what if you only want to watch wrestling? I hope the WWE doesn't sell the network worldwide off to other companies because I get it for America, it airs on, you know, the USA network is, you know, it's, it's, a, it's just a cable network, it's a normal telechannel. 
But here it's on BT, which is you know, behind the paywall and it's all sport. And if you don't really watch a lot of sports like me, I just can't watch. I've had football, wrestling, basketball. I said, I don't want a BT subscription, you know. I just want to watch wrestling. And that's why the reason I don't cover main roster WWE on here is because I don't pay for BT. I don't want to pay for BT. I pay for the network. I watch the pay-per-views. I keep up to date with what's going on on, like, the YouTube and stuff. I see what's happening. But just overall, is this a good or a bad move? I'm not sure. I think it's a good move if they invest this money in the right places. Obviously, they got another, this is what, the third billion they've made in, like, two years, like, from like rights related things like Fox bought Smackdown for a billion did USA buy NXT for a billion I couldn't be that much of Smackdown for a billion but they bought it for a hell of a lot of money a couple hundred million at least easily outbidding Fox uh, and now that's uh, a billion dollars for five years of the exclusivity of the WWE Network in America and <sighs> if they invest this money correctly which realistically more than likely won't because it's wrestling should be how Vince sees it because he won the Monday Night Wars. If they invest it correctly in new stars and, you know, just doing new and inventive things with it, bringing more people in, bringing in, like, you know, renowned writers who know wrestling instead of want to write a TV show, they want to write a wrestling show, this could be, you know, the best billion dollars that has ever been spent in the history of professional wrestling. NBC could be onto a fucking winner, but... And more than likely, what also, I'm curious to see what this does with Fox. Because the Fox in WWE relationship is already easy. It's only been like, what, a year and four months? October 2019, so yeah, like a year and four months when they went to Fox. They were pissed off when USA got NXT. The ratings aren't good, even though it's a, a much better product. Ratings in general for wrestling have dropped as well as everything, but like... The projections, they, they never hit the projections that they promised Fox they would be in and around by giving a more sports-based product. And it's definitely more compelling of the two shows. But I wonder where this leaves WWE with Fox. Because I can't imagine Fox are entirely happy about this. I don't know. The whole thing now with every company having a streaming service and every production company and every TV channel and every this and that and this and that having a paid for streaming service like it's cool with Channel 4 and BBC On Demand because you can just go on it's there but a lot of stuff like that leaves international audiences in the dirt because of licensing issues obviously being here I can't get HBO or HBO Max or HBO Go I would need to get a, I think it's a now TV pass or pay for Sky and yeah, I just, I hope this works. I really hope this works. Um, you know, it'd be, it's, it's, it's absolutely fantastic that in America, I could go on the one website and I can have uh, Jim Halpert on there and I can have Ron Swanson on there and I can have Troy Barnes on there and I can have Kevin Owens on there. You know, that's the the four, my, you know, the four, the four best boys in the whole wide world. Um, I hope it's not. I hope this works. I'm really, I'm cautiously optimistic about it. So yeah, a uh, bit of a rambling one. The other one later on tonight will also be a bit of a meandering rambling one. That'll be up around 8 o'clock tonight. Double upload tonight. Then Empire Review tomorrow. AEW Review on Thursday. And Friday or Saturday I've got a very special thing lined up about the Royal Rumble. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. Uh, we'll see you later on tonight. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave your comments down below what you think this uh, move could mean going forward. For, you know, WWE, Fox, USA Network, AEW, everyone. Just let me know what you think and I will see you next time.